Hi, my name is Joan Meggett, and I am a part-time instructor in the Department of Theater and Dance at Cleveland State University. I teach a variety of dance courses, including this semester, Dance History, which is also a writing across the curriculum course. And I also teach Teaching Dance, which is a pedagogy course, Dance Composition One, a process and making course, Introduction to Dance, and Dance in Community. This past summer, I participated in the Open Educational Resources Symposium at Cleveland State University. I was encouraged to do so by my uh, department uh, chair, but prior to that, I knew that one of my colleagues had, had taken that symposium and had implemented OERs in their course, and that another colleague that teaches um, some of the same courses that I do was also interested in that. I learned a lot from that symposium, and I'm really grateful um, to the faculty um, for everything that they provided, all the resources, the information, um, the, the knowledge and the understanding of how, how to go about finding and also making open educational resources. So I think they're valuable for a number of reasons. I think first and foremost, it's really helpful for students from an access perspective. Um, a, in that it's uh, more affordable and I know that financial concerns are, are at the forefront for our students, but also access in terms of they can be anywhere uh, as long as they have uh, the, the, the internet connection, that they can access those resources. And they can do that from home, from their phone, they could do it at school. Also, there are different ways that students can engage. So the access and engagement aspect of open educational resources is different from that of a traditional textbook. I think from the pedagogical perspective, open educational resources provide educators with um, the possibilities of really tailor-making content and materials for their course. And there are very many fine textbooks out there, ones that I have used some for years and others I've changed over time as the research has, has moved forward. Um, but in most cases, they're either too, too broad uh, and don't allow students to see a more in-depth um, perspective on the material, or they are too widely specific in that they're going to be covering areas that I will not specifically be covering within that course. And so having the possibility to uh, tailor make a resource that really serves the focus of the course and allows the students to really hone in on things I think is, is valuable. And I have seen this uh, at, at work at Cleveland State University. We were shown a number of different open educational resources um, across a number of disciplines that were created by the faculty for the students here and specifically for courses that they taught. And I found them to be really exciting and thorough and allowed um, me as the reader in this case and students in, in, the, in the larger case, different ways to engage with that material. And again, I think that that is um, very important and something that is not possible with a traditional textbook. I would encourage um, other faculty, uh, my colleagues to First, begin by speaking with, with a librarian here at CSU. They're very knowledgeable. They want to make more resources and knowledge available to faculty and by, by dint of that to students as well. And then consider taking one of the many different open educational symposiums, workshops, presentations, availing yourself of, that, of those opportunities, um, as well as other learning opportunities that are here for um, for um, instructors at Cleveland State University. I'm really grateful that I had that opportunity and I'm going to be digging more deeply into um, OERs for my own teaching. I was able to utilize an ebook that's available through the library, which all of the students in my dance history class can access at once. And also through Mandy Goodset, I was able to access and utilize um, some, some shorter, more succinct sources that were supplemental um, to that primary textbook. Um, but I would be interested in creating or finding, assembling um, something that's even more tailor-made uh, for the work that we do in dance history at this point in time. So thank you very much.